this is Grishma and welcome to my channel. In the last video, we learned Newton's first law and we understood that Newton's first law defines inertia. I said that this topic would be explained in the next video. So, now let us understand what inertia is. Before going to start our topic, first of all, let us know where the word inertia is derived from. The word inertia is derived from the Latin word inertia, which means sluggish. Sluggish? What does it mean? Sluggish means lazy, inactive or slow. So, now our topic inertia has some connection with laziness. The law of inertia was first formulated by Galileo. Later, Isaac Newton defined inertia as his first law. Inertia, what does it mean? Inertia is the natural tendency of an object to resist change in its state of motion. This sentence indicates every object which is in a state of rest or in motion always tends to be in its current position. That means if an object is in rest, it always prefers to be in rest. And similarly, if an object is in motion, it always tends to be in motion. This is what inertia says. So far, we discussed what inertia is. Now let us know the types of inertia with direct examples. Inertia is classified into three types. They are inertia of rest, inertia of motion and inertia of direction. Now let us know about inertia of rest. Inertia of rest can be defined as the inability of an object or body to change its state of position of rest by itself. That means, if an object is in rest, it always tends to be in rest position only. Suppose, you are playing caroms. Now, it is your chance to strike the coins at the bottom of the pile with a striker. Here, pile is a stack of coins which are arranged in an order on the carom board. When you strike the coins with a striker, then the coins which are hit by the striker only moves away while the rest of the pile remains in the original position. Now, let us understand the second type of inertia, inertia of motion. Inertia of motion can be defined as the inability of an object or body to change its state of motion by itself. For example, you are in a class and listening to a lesson seriously. All of a sudden, the power has gone. Then, what did you observe? Even though there is no power supply, the fan still rotates for some time. Here, the fan which is in motion, continue to be in motion for a while. This is what inertia of motion says. Now, let us understand what third type of inertia is. Inertia of direction. Inertia of direction can be defined as the inability of an object or body to change its direction of motion by itself. When the bus moves along a left curve, our body also moves along the bus direction except our head because our head moves in the opposite direction. That means in the right direction because until then our head is in right direction. Suddenly, when the bus moves along a left curve, our head takes some time to change its direction. This is what inertia of direction says. So far, we have learnt about inertia and its types. But here, we have to remember one important point. That is, if you think that all objects have same inertia, it is absolutely wrong. Because inertia depends on the mass of an object. For example, there is a tiny stone in your ground when you are playing. Then what do you do? You pick it up and throw it or you just kick it with your leg, right? But when there is a larger stone, you will try to push it. But when the force applied by you is not sufficient to change the position, you will leave it. Here what happened? Some force is enough to change the position of the smaller stone. But when we apply the same force to the larger stone, our force is not sufficient to change its state of position. From this, we can easily notice that the more the mass of an object has, the greater its inertia. So, if we apply equal force to both the objects, the tiny stone will move easily as compared to the larger one. 
Now, the relation between the mass and inertia is, mass is the measure of inertia. I hope you understand this topic well. Your understanding will be examined in the next video. Keep watching. Bye. Hi friends, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get notifications immediately when we upload videos. Okay, thank you. Keep watching. Bye.